There's nobody alive more who would like to see a Bernie Sanders, Donald Trump run for the presidency in 2020. But Bernie Sanders is not doing so. He's not, he's, he's not smart. He's not learning. He's not keeping up with the Joneses. Check this out. Today we talk about justice and today we talk about racism. And I must tell you, it gives me no pleasure to tell you that we now have a president of the United States who is a racist. We have a president of the United States who has done something that no other president in modern history has done. What a president is supposed to do is to bring us together. And we have a president intentionally purposely is trying to divide us up by the color of our skin, by our gender, by the country we came from, by our religion. <coughs> now everybody here knows. Uh, so they, so there's Bernie Sanders pandering to the blacks. <laughs> uh, he's, he's over there talking, that was yesterday at the uh, Martin Luther King Martin Luther King Day parade, whatever it was. The recognition of Martin Luther King, his birthday. I don't know what it is. But uh, so Bernie Sanders, right? The things that he said, he's calling tactical error, shooting yourself in the foot. N big mistake, right? Don't call Trump and Trump supporters and anybody who happens to be white a fucking racist. Cut it out, Bernie. Stop it. You're wrong. Don't you get it? It's your party. It's your corrupt Democrats, the, the Hillary Clintons and the Cory Bookers and the and the Camilla Harris's chopping and slicing and calling everybody a racist, a misogynist, a sexist, a, 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 a whatever, whatever kind of term you want to come up with. So, look, if Sanders is going to win, right? If Sanders, forget about win. If, if Bernie Sanders... If Bernie Sanders is going to run for the president of the United States again, he will dust all of the other candidates just by default, right? He'll he'll sweep Iowa and New Hampshire. He'll be the he'll be the 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 darling of those two uh, primaries. Now, will the Democrats stick him in the back again? Of course they will. Of course they will cheat him. The second he announces, he won't announce, by the way. People are saying, oh, Bernie, he's got to announce, please. Bernie, Bernie, please announce. Oh, fucking Bernie. Fucking Bernie, where's Bernie? Where's Bernie? Where's Bernie? Bernie, where's Bernie? Bernie is, is, is at least, in, look back at the record. He didn't announce until the spring of 2016. Right for the for 2015, excuse me, he didn't announce till uh, 2015 that he was running for 2016. So, it, on the uh, by that metric, he's on schedule for if he announces spring 2019 for a 2020 run, that would be consistent with his other strategy, right? and he doesn't need the name recognition either. But Bernie Sanders will have to look into the camera, and he will. Have to stop. First of all, he's got to stop calling. That's number one. Stop calling Trump uh, a racist. Trump is not a racist. Trump is an opportunist. Trump doesn't care what color you are or what fucking country you're from. He's got a foreign wife. Right? He doesn't care. He's a New Yorker. Anybody who's been here five seconds or, or understands the Trump's brain knows that Trump is not a racist. And 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 by default, you calling Trump a racist, which he is not. You offend all of his potential voters that will never vote for you, Bernie. Right? So you're, you're alienating people. You're the people slicing and dicing. Don't you see it? Right? You're doing it. You're actually doing it by Sanders. Is, Trump is not calling anybody else a racist and a bigot and a misogynist and a sexist. Right? That's your team doing it. Right? That's all of, that's all of the, the lunatic, psychopathic left doing this stuff. You're killing it. You kill. You're killing a, any chance of getting a a, a message of economic uh, uh, equality, bringing that to the table in a debate against Trump, 
whether you could win or, or lose or whatever is not the point. But if you could get on the stage with Trump and debate him on issues of financial uh, uh, makeover in this country, the presentation of a new deal in America, you would have done enormous service to our country. But by default, if you're just going to keep calling the other party racist, if you're going to, f if you refuse to apologize to your constituents, you remember the guy, the people that gave you two hundred forty million dollars. You remember all those people that donated twenty seven dollars at a time. You remember that? I remember it because I was one of them, right? Until you look into the camera and apologize and apologize for blaming Russia when your party cheated. The dices and slices of the left, the Hillary Clintons of the world, cheated, right? Until you fess up with that, right? There's no chance, not a snowball's chance in hell that thinking people are just going to roll over and, and, and go for it. You know what I mean? It's just not, not going to happen. So, uh, you know, Marcus Conti reporting.